Hello there! In today's video, we will showcase a newly developed system using Steinberg's MIDI remote script to control Cubase version 12 and above. The MIDI remote script communicates directly with the MP MIDI app and this lets you control Cubase functions, the transport control, its channel strip, hosted plugins and instruments. Let's see it in action. The MIDI remote script consists of 8 pages and each page is dedicated to controlling different parts of Cubase. The biggest advantage of using the MIDI remote script is that the controller syncs with the selected track and device. Page 1 carries essential buttons and the quick controls of Cubase are linked to encoders. Page 2 is for controlling the mix console and EQ. Page 3 is mapped for the channel strip and EQ. Page 4 is for audio effects and page 5 for instruments. Pages 6 through 8 are free for assigning anything you want. Pages can be changed from the controller or cue base in the MIDI remote section. Let's take a closer look. Here you will find the essential buttons that are commonly used. These include the first 8 tools, track control, transport control and different shortcuts. Selecting a different track will sync the buttons to the track selected. The bottom row of encoders are linked to the 8 quick controls which automatically sync and display the parameter names of the device or the component selected in Cubase. While we're on page 1, we can open the mix console and it will automatically take us to page 2. In this page, there are dedicated buttons and controls for the mixer and the channel EQ. Using the top and bottom encoders, you can control the level and the pan of the first 8 tracks, which automatically take the color of the tracks from Cubase. To go to the next 8, you can use the arrow buttons to change banks. The encoders on each side are linked to control the channel EQ. Last, you can switch to different tracks using the bottom row of buttons. Moving over to the third page, it can be used to control mainly the channel strip and the EQ. The left and right sides of encoders control the channel strip and the top and bottom row of encoders control the EQ. With this configuration, you can control two channel strip effects and the EQ at the same time. Let's see an example. If you want to control the compressor, you just click on the compressor button and the parameters automatically map on the left side of the encoders. If you want to control the gate, you just hit the gate button and the parameters of the gate automatically map again on the left side. To control any of the other three effects, you just have to select it and the parameters of the effect will automatically map on the right side of the encoders. On the fourth page, you can control the insert effects plugins of the selected track. Once you're on this page, simply click the plugin edit button to open the plugin and control it from the encoders. As you can see, everything is automatically mapped. If you want to control the next plugin on the insert effects chain, simply use the next insert effect button to control it. Furthermore, you can switch plugin banks if the plugin has more than 32 parameters, so you can have full control over it. To change the assigned parameters, you can use the remote control editor in Cubase to assign the parameters you want to control for each device. Heading over to page 5, it can be used to control the instrument of the selected track. This page works with the same logic as on page 4, but for instrument plugins. Alternatively, you can use a second MP controller for a more dedicated control over your plugins, alongside your main MP controller. Lastly, the other three pages are mapped only with track and transport control, so you can freely map the buttons and encoders to any parameter you want. Happy controlling!